uh, Hemotep introduced me to Dr. Winters. So it's not just uh, what you know, it's who you know and who knows what they know. So I, I really appreciate uh, all three of you entrusting me with your work uh, and being able to put it out in a way that is authentic and be able to set the record straight. So talking about this book, Dr. Winters, um, we are not just Africans. The first question out the gate is who are the Afro-Americans? So let's start there and then we can kind of uh, uh, blend in uh, uh, Dr. Imhotep's work and Professor Kaba's work as well. Okay, uh, when you talk about the Afro-Americans, it's, uh, it's somewhat complicated because of the fact that we've been fed this whole idea that the only, the only ancestry of uh, people in Afro-America are Sub-Saharan African slaves. Okay, although we've been fed this, uh, this lie, what you really discover is that uh, Afro-Americans are a combination of a number of people. For example, many uh, Black Europeans, when they came uh, to the United States, they were in, uh, in Jamestown. And these were Blacks in Jamestown before 1619. Many of these uh, Blacks uh, were already there because they were free Black people that had formerly lived in uh, Europe or Afro-Europeans. These Afro-Europeans, they lived in Jamestown. Then we had the, uh, the so-called uh, indentured uh, black slaves that came in 1619. And when they came, they also joined the mix. But even before uh, even before we had the, uh, the black Europeans or the sub-Saharan Africans, you had a large number of uh, black uh, Native, Am Native Americans that lived up and down the coast, all the way from Canada down to Florida. These uh, black Native Americans had built up very wonderful civilizations. And as a result of these civilizations, the Europeans, they spent most of their time trying to find a way to take these uh, civilizations away from these Blacks. And so what you find is that the African American has a tripartite origin. In other words, some of us have ancestry from those Black Europeans that came here. We also have ancestry from the Black Native Americans. And we also have, in a sense, ancestry from Sub-Saharan Africans. You see a lot of brothers talking about their Hebrews or their Moors. That's fine if you uh, want to say that. But in terms of trying to really look at an authentic ancestry, you have to look at these three groups. And then people always question me and say, OK, Dr. Winters, how can you be indigenous and also be African? And I tell them that it's easy. One of the things that the European did is that the European put us on the same plantation. And as a result, there was so much intermarriage among those uh, Black Native Americans and Sub-Saharan Africans that we're so mixed that we have this indigenous origin. And then many of us uh, came from Mississippi, North Carolina, and places like that. And uh, we uh, were already there living among the Choctaw and other groups. For example, you know, uh, my mother had always told, taught me that I was, uh, that I had Choctaw ancestry. But I didn't really want to listen to that mess because I grew up in the 50s. And I mean, hey, I always saw the Apaches and the, and the uh, Navajo getting killed on TV. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be with a bunch of losers. <laughs> so, uh, but again, uh, later in life, as I began to really do the research, I found that I should be proud of that heritage. Absolutely. But again, but again uh, the problem is, is that many people are looking for uh, papers. And uh, most black people don't have papers because we don't have papers that say that we're belong to the Choctaw, the Yuchi, the Yamasi, the Wichita, etc. And the reason we don't have these papers is because the Europeans developed this whole idea of bureaucratic. Right. Bureaucratic de-Indianization. De what they did is that they labeled all, all Black Native Americans color people. And they forced these, co these color people to live in the colored community, which was already inhabited by Sub-Saharan Africans. And as a result, some people lost their ancestors. You see, and so that's why it's very difficult. But we uh, have a tripart origin: Black Europeans, Black Native Americans, and Sub-Saharan Africa. 